after you have oriented and permuted your edges, you will now orient the corners. There are a few cases for orienting the corners, but you orient them in cycles. You can either do this would be a clockwise, this this would be a clockwise turn, this would be a counterclockwise turn. The cycles are you can either do a clockwise turn and then a counterclockwise turn and that would complete a cycle or you could do three clockwise um, turns and that will complete a cycle and then three counterclockwise turns depending on your case. So this case, I have a case where I can do a counterclockwise turn and a clockwise turn. To do a clockwise turn for this edge you just do a rotary so that it is right here and there's um, already solved pieces. For a clockwise turn you would do R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U. Now that orients the corner but kinda messes these up. That's what I was talking about when I was saying completing in cycles. To complete the cycle you bring the other piece over and so I'm doing a clockwise and then a counterclockwise cycle. So now I will do the counterclockwise maneuver to turn this counterclockwise and that will undo this and it will be solved. So, the, to turn this counterclockwise you would do U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R. And they'll solve these pieces and orient that corner. Now you may have a case where you have three corners that need to be turned counterclockwise. When you have this, you just do the counterclockwise maneuver three times. You solve one, move the next one in, solve it, move the next one in. So I will do that. So counterclockwise, do U prime, R prime, U. R, U prime, R prime, U, R. And that orients that. I bring in the next one, do that again, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R. Now I need one more. U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R. Now I'll fix that and orient those three corners. Another case you might have is where you have three corners that need to be turned clockwise. So, hold it like this, and then you do the clockwise maneuver. R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U. Okay, then you move the next one in, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U. Or answer that, move the next one in. R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U. Solves that, orients the corners. You may have a case where you have four corners that need to be turned counterclockwise and one corner that needs to be turned clockwise. Or you may have four corners that need to be turned clockwise and one that needs to be turned counterclockwise. It's the same thing. Okay, so to solve that case, what you do is you um, solve the um, clockwise one and then a counterclockwise one. So you solve these two. So that was a clockwise and then I do the counterclockwise. And that solves those two. Now I just need to solve these three. And they all have to go counterclockwise. So that's very easy. You just do the um, triple counterclockwise cycle.
and that will solve that case. Now another case you might have is where you have two corners that need to be turned counterclockwise and two corners that need to be clockwise. What you do is you do a counterclockwise clockwise cycle and then a counterclockwise clock clockwise cycle and that will solve them. So here I have a counterclockwise corner that needs to be yeah needs to be turned counterclockwise and I do the counterclockwise maneuver U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R. Now I just did a counterclockwise so I need to do a clockwise to finish that cycle. R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U and that will solve this and orient those two. Now you just do what you just did again. So you do a counterclockwise cycle. U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R. Move in and now you do the clockwise. R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U. And then you have your oriented corners. Those are all the cases for corner orienting.